The raid wasn't a complete loss, Sir George. We did lose a thousand knights, but at least we made off with this extraordinary diamond. It's half eaten! Curse those dragons! Merrin, I want some fiendish advice. How can I make Camel Hot mine? Hmm. My spies have just given me some new, deliciously diabolical information regarding the future of Camelot. <sighs> My new alarming clock is a splendid invention, but adding the snooze level was pure genius. Flicker, hurry up, you lazy bag of dragon droppings. King Olfar's been waiting to see you. I just want to test the snooze level one more time. I'll be down in nine minutes. Fine. I'll tell the king, our absolute sovereign, master of all he surveys, that you can't fit him into your busy schedule. Whoa, hold your jingle bells. Tell the king I'm on my way. Maybe it's about my request to battle in the tournament tomorrow. If I can't win, Princess Flame will be forced to marry someone else. The only drawback to my alarming clock is that I have to wake up and wind it every ten minutes. A great inventor needs a great workbench. Unfortunately, I'm stuck with this one. It's my pet moth, Pavlov. So far, I've conditioned him to stay in his jar even after the lid is removed. This is the most precious thing I own. My invention book. It contains the designs for all my best inventions. I do some of my best work here, so I sleep as much as possible. Bad science and worse art. I never go anywhere without this. A good inventor always has his invention book. Flicker, about tomorrow's tournament, my answer is no! Jeez, I was only an hour late. The tournament is open only to dragon knights. You're not a knight, you're not even a squire. Knights of the square table, your attention please. Silence please, silence for the king. Pray silence, the king is speaking. Uh, Shh! I'm oh, sorry. We must do something, Flicker. I refuse to marry one of these flaming idiots. I'll try, Flame. I promise. Uh-oh, visitors! Humans, Humans in Camelot? Camelot? Greetings, King Smallfire. <laughs> oh, I sincerely regret to hear that you are finally retiring. When my entry in your tournament, the Black Dragon wins and is crowned king, he will turn your hide into ladies' handbags and tight shoes. What? Humans can't enter the tournament? I'm certain the Camelhot Law Book will not allow such a thing, Chancellor! Hmm. You're undoubtedly right, sire. Chapter 3, Section 9, Paragraph 18 clearly states that humans shall not be eligible to participate in any tournament. Unless, of course, they have a dragon to participate on their behalf. Chancellor! I believe you're mistaken. Doesn't Chapter 3, Section 9, Paragraph 18 refer to an obscure law governing public snout picking? Uh, yes, well, at one time it did, but uh, I changed it, accidentally. 
this is a sensitive matter of state, King Allfire. I really don't think the princess should be involved. Quite right. Keep quiet, dearest. Quibble while you may. Tomorrow, Camel Hut will be mine. Away, Mervyn! Humans! Ha! We should have toasted the little pink bugs the moment they arrived! Calm down! Our opponent can be defeated! Your mission is to bring back information about this mysterious black dragon. Yes, yes sire! sire! Father, Flicker needs a mission. Oh, okay. Flicker, I hereby command you to wash all the dirty dishes that have piled up in the royal kitchen. There you have it. <laughs> oh, wacko. Tell you who, chaps, we have a black dragon to quash. That's an English word, you know. Oh, ah, blind idiot! Oh, great. I see Sir gasvane has been using room service again. I bet this mop keeps the kitchen floor clean enough to eat off. We should use it on the tables. At least someone started soaking the gem-crusted dishes. Nothing's tougher than diamond stains. I could most likely use this in case I make a mess. Or perhaps for something else. It's probably more romantic to have a candlelit dinner than a candlelit mop. It's a perfect fit. So snug that no steam's escaping. Flicker, I've got great news. You're going to help me with the dishes? No. If you're a knight, Daddy will have to let you compete in a tournament. To become a knight, you first need to have an existing knight take you on as a squire. And then? As a squire, you can journey into the Cave of Dilemma. Leave alive and you're a knight. Good luck! Well, that sure simplified things. My rubberized tail warmer. Functional yet stylish. It keeps my tail toasty at night. Another perfect fit. I'm a natural at this. Stand back, Flicker. I think you've done it again. It's working. Lo and behold, the automatic dishwasher. Now, how much would you pay for this miracle time saver? Don't answer, because I'm free to leave the castle. What's all this then? Good day, Chancellor. This is my latest invention, the automatic dishwasher. I see it's run off steam. Is it powerful? As powerful as a dozen knights. Fascinating. Perhaps later I can help you find some further uses for it. Excuse me, King Allfire. Flicker, leave me. I'm thinking through a strategy for when my knights return. Monarch Quarterly. In this issue, they reprint King Allfire's infamous 12-hour coronation speech. I'll just take the Monarch Quarterly along in case I get a sudden bout of insomnia. Hmm, pipe cleaners. The King must have been cleaning his sinuses out. I don't have sinus problems, but this pipe cleaner might come in handy. Flicker, 
Becca, this is my bedroom. Next time, knock, please. Oh, Flame is really upset about the tournament. Excuse me, Flame? Flicker, have you done it? Are you a squire? Uh, I'm close, Flame. Honest. Hurry, Flicker. I refuse to marry against my will. Can't you talk the king out of forcing you to marry? Use your feminine wiles. You know, smile sweetly. Lock him in a half, Nelson. I've tried, but he reversed me into a figure four leg lock. Flame? Flicker? Do you have any more advice about becoming a knight? Nope, but here's a kiss for good luck. Flame? Flicker? So, uh, what sort of dragon do you want to marry? Well, the dragon of my dreams is sensitive. The other day I saw a rainbow so beautiful, I wept. Of course he'd have to be funny. Did you hear about the human who thought manual labour was a famous Spanish painter? Brave. He'd have to be brave. I'm almost completely over that nightlight phase. I swear. And most important of all, he'd have to be covered in tattoos that say, I belong to flame. Fine, I'll check the docks and get back to you. Touchy.